Hey friends, Fifi Mangake here, and Rue from my Manga Yield Treehouse is getting an upgrade to this. This video is going to be a critique and a discussion about how I drastically improved my art in three weeks of being a daily art YouTuber. If you're new here, I'm Fifi Mangaka, and I'm working on a manga called E Old Treehouse, and I'm documenting everything on this YouTube channel right here. I started about three weeks ago, and I was completely new to so many things. New to digital art, new to using an on-screen tablet, new to Clip Studio Paint. I just didn't know how to use anything, but I was determined to use this platform to continue growing my story. And in that three weeks, I've seen a massive improvement in my art. Now, I've been drawing for several years, so I'm not new to drawing. I'm just new to the tools that I'm now using. Let's start with talking about line art. One of the first things I had extreme difficulty with when I started drawing a few weeks back is what brush to use on Clip Studio. There were so many options and I had absolutely no idea which brush would best fit my drawing style. A lot of the pictures that I drew on this channel over the last few days, I've been using all kinds of different brushes to try and figure out which one I liked the best. In addition to not knowing which brush to use, I also wasn't very good at keeping my lines stable for my line art. A lot of my line artwork was just quite frankly sloppy and I knew it, but Again, I wasn't gonna let that stop me from working on my story and posting on YouTube. One thing that I already see as a massive improvement with this picture is I found a brush that I love and it's the real G-Pin brush. It's actually a default brush on Clip Studio and I like it because it helps me get nice clean lines, but it still retains the texture that I really love from my sketch work. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. I get clean lines, I get texture. For this picture, I've used it for the first time and I intend to keep using this brush for pictures going forward, at least character portraits like the one you're seeing now. The second thing is drawing every day has really, really allowed me to make massive improvements on one major anatomy thing, and that's hands. The picture in the beginning of this video, I drew Rue's hands so terribly. I was never good at drawing hands and I never really put the work in to learn. And I think it came from a fear of not doing it right and having hands that look crazy. But what I did over the last few weeks posting videos on this channel was really force myself to draw hands and draw them in a methodical way, not just kind of like create claws or like weird Minecraft squares. I really put in the effort to try and create as realistic a look of hands as possible. At least when I'm sketching, I give myself a little bit more leeway to kind of have janky looking hands. But by the time I'm inking, I'm really putting a lot of care and thought into those fingers and hands. That's something that I really see is a massive, massive improvement since I started posting every day. My art process since I've started this channel is to sketch. Right now I'm in the ideation phase of my manga, so I'm drawing my characters, I'm tweaking their designs, I'm getting to know them better, and I'm coming up with a workflow that works for me. I'll start with a sketch of a character using a really cool brush that I found on Clip Studio, and then I'll go in and ink that. And I used to rush this process because I was really hurrying to get a video out since I am posting daily. But with this picture, I'm really taking my time, even though the video is sped up, perhaps you can't tell, but I'm really taking my time here to make sure that my line work is really clean. I've come to realize in digital art, clean line work will make the coloring process so much easier. And speaking of coloring, let's move on to talking about that. In the first picture of Rue that's at the beginning of this video, it's pretty flat. At the time, I thought that it looked rendered very well, but after I discovered some interesting tools on Clip Studio, I realized that I wasn't really using the full potential of tools available to me on this program. I found what brushes that I liked to use and how I liked to layer colors and highlight. And this sort of coloring style, I think I feel really proud about it because I'm trying to do something that feels natural to me. 
I'm not trying to replicate how others who draw digital art color their pictures. I like to kind of keep a marker or sort of like paint look to the color. And I'm really happy that I'm refining this technique with my coloring. My last few pictures that I've colored are just worlds apart from the first pictures that I colored on this channel. Another thing is I've gotten a lot better at really staying true to my light source. It sounds like an obvious thing, but a lot of times when I'm coloring, my light source is all over the place. But with the recent pictures I've drawn, I'm really staying true to the light source that I determine at the beginning of my picture and sticking through with it all the way to the end of the picture. If you're enjoying this video and you're finding it interesting and or you just like the speed drawing of Rue, feel free to like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel and it helps support Yield Treehouse. I appreciate all of the support and love that I've gotten thus far and I'm so excited to keep making this story for all of you. So this is a really good part in the video to talk about goals and what I have planned next and what I hope my future improvements are. So for the first goal, I really want to continue to drive home consistency between my characters. I really want them all to look like they're from the same manga, have the same exact techniques used on the coloring, on the line work, on the anatomy, so they look cohesive together. And this is why I'm spending a lot of time on characterization and drawing portraits, because each time I draw them, I think it gets refined a little bit more. And when I put all of my characters together in a group picture, they will all look like they belong in the same place. So I'm hoping to continue to refine kind of like the unity between all of my characters and the way that I draw them. The next thing I'd like to refine in the next three months is definitely character designs. I find myself making small changes and adjustments to each character's look, but I want to get to a point where I'm happy with where they're at and I can finalize it and move on to the next thing, which is figure practice. That's going to be an entire arc in and of itself. And hopefully I can do that pretty soon here because I'm wrapping up really, I'm, I'm wrapping up all of the important things about the main characters. So hopefully at this point, I can really wrap up their designs as well. Next thing I'd like to have as a goal, which I alluded to, is to start figure drawing. Manga is all about being good at perspective and figure drawing, and this is an area that I know I have a lot of improvement for. I'm more of a character portrait artist, but I'm going to be diving into action and motion and figures. So something that I'm going to make sure that I do every day is to practice my figure drawing to refine that so we can get some nice, pretty and exciting panels in ye old treehouse. I also wanted to say something just a little bit more motivational for anyone else out there who's working on their own story or posting their art online. I know it could be daunting and you can worry about others leaving critiques or negative comments and making you feel bad about your work, but the reality is you're putting your artwork out there and that's a really intimate and difficult thing to do. Critique is great and it's important to improve, but also keep in mind who you're getting this critique from and whether or not they really have your best interest in heart or if they're just trying to be mean. Also, don't let feedback discourage you. Feedback is how we grow and it's how we improve on our skills. And when you're expecting it, which is really important, when you're expecting it, it can really be something that's transformational for your art journey. Don't let any of that stuff stop you. Keep drawing and keep putting your work out there. I really, really want to see an era where there's lots of indie mangakas putting their works out and there's a really robust indie mangaka community, particularly for women mangakas out there. My observation right now is there are a lot of men who make some really great stories who are indie mangakas who are published with several indie publishers, but there's like really not as many women. So it'd be really cool to kind of start a community of women who are drawing manga as well. My genre is kind of shonen. I say kind of because my audience is not young boys, but basically you could say action manga. And I really don't know any other women online who are drawing an action manga. So if you're out there, please like reach out to me. I'd like to start a little group where we can work on all of our stories. Now's the time where I sit back and shut up and let you enjoy the rest of this speed draw so you can see how I finished out the picture of Rue. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more updates on Yield Treehouse and more speed draws of the characters, conversations about world building, basically anything and everything in between. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.